laser dagger. Grenade cannon. Plasma cannon. Split missile launcher to sell. Resell missile launcher developed. Vertical missile launcher. 12 stamp. Container missile launcher developed. Okay. Oh my god, something better than what I have. Incredible. Oh! Long range and medium. That's funny. Now let's try for a test run here. Essentially hover, like yeah. This is a long range weapon. Okay. Enemy settings. Ammunition at 
light shoulder ammunition at 50%. Do we, uh, do we do the flamethrower? Do the flamethrower. Where's the flamethrower? Overburdened. All right, we'll use that. Here's the flame waffer. Missile launcher with two cells. Plasma cannon.
Yeah. Nope. No like. Right, give me back my shotgun. Oh yeah, let's try the plasma thrower, which I did not. Grenade cannon. Okay, try both of these. shot is pretty okay. Let's, once again, I have this stress that I want to be able to fire and move at the same time. Actually, I already like upgrade the energy weapons to that, so. Alright, let's try the laser dagger. like the best in the world
Okay. Pretty good. I get the gist of it. Too bad we can't have two melee weapons, huh? Yeah, this pile driver, well, not even a pile driver, right? Yeah, it's definitely better you can argue about. I'm still not sure about these, though. I could respect to have missiles instead of, of lasers. Let's see. Wow, God, all of that. Yeah, I, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see. I feel like this is going to be pretty good. Oh, wait, that's, that's not right. That's the wrong one. Yeah, this one, container missiles. Look at that. It's, it's pretty good chase spot. Okay, I can see how that that could be good. Vertical missiles is also pretty good. But it's weaker than this? Really? Huh. Yep, I think we're just gonna go back to this. I think the 10 cells is very good. What is this one? What the heck? Oh, but 
Okay. As you notice, they just dodge all of it. Wow. Garbage. Not even homing. What? Wow. Yeah, that's terrible. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay. We're gonna go with this, right? You know what? Let's switch to explosives. I feel it. Yeah, we're definitely gonna grab these. Definitely gonna grab damage modifier with this. Fire control for kinetic weapons. And explosives. Oh. Okay, that works. Let's go. Let's finish this game. Main system activating combat mode. Get into position, tourist. It's time. I need you to protect that tower until we've managed to take control. Mobilization process K. Deploying sheet. Chief, I've cracked some of the defense systems. Good job, Chatty. That'll buy us some time. Looks like you're in position. Chatty, how much longer till we have control? Give me five minutes, and the corpse will... I'm picking up an Archibus MT squad. Well, guys have showed up early. Looks like you're up already, tourist. Give them the old R.A.D. welcome. We have to see this through. Raven, I'll support you. Don't let them near the tower, tourist. Mobilization process B1. Plasma cannons ready. We've got access to support weaponry. Use them if you need the help. left the system is 
ours, tourist. Hey, tourist, go clear them out. So those cannons only Thank 
Walter for the tip. I give you the colony ship, Simon. Walter's parting gift. Great. Let me fill you in on the plan. Your plan sucks. All right, let's just do this one. Raven, this job comes from me. Let 
me tell you my motto, tourist. Get your laughs while you can. I don't know what you're up to, but you better make it worth it. Shetty, you know what we're dealing with. Pin that tourist down. Roger, Chief. Support him. I mean, I had no healing. Shetty, you know what we're dealing with. Pin that tourist down. Roger, Chief. Support him. AP at 30%. Dude, Jesus fucking no Christ. Or friends. AP at 50%. AP at 30%. Hang in there, Raven. Focus on me. still with me. What is happening? Get him. Why? Walter must be turning in his grave. Oh. Like, seriously. I'm just getting constantly stun locked. How is that even remotely fun to play? It's so bad. Just constant fucking stun locks. Shady, you know what we're dealing with. Pin that tourist down. Roger, Chief. Support him. Look at that. There's nothing I can do. Oh, Taurus. fucking annoying. But that's not to say we've lost. What? The Zylon's control center is locked out. There's no stopping this shit now. Shut the fuck up and let me just be wrong. Vital signs lost. Activating perimeter protocol. Xylem propulsion vector locked. All systems locked out. Jesus Christ. Messages. Carla had planned everything, just like Walter. They both wanted someone to inherit. The Rubiconians are continuing to resist the corporation. The potential of humanity, Raven. There has to be some.
Looks like the Gist of Honor's here. Hey, buddy. I never thought I'd be rubbing shoulders with the Liberator of Rubicon. Every Rubiconian who heard your cry rose up to fight. Let's show them there's a future for Rubicon beyond these scorched skies. Main system, activating combat mode. Before, Rusty was the first to offer his help. Never thought the plan would go so wrong. But it's good teaming up with you again. Couldn't have hoped for a better silver lining. Machine from grid 086. Looks like we got our work cut out for us. It'll be just like when we climb the wall. Here. AP at 50%.
Oh, you're kidding me. This is just a confusing map layout. What the hell? We've got trouble ahead. We need to take down the Xylem fast. Augmented human, C4.
have to dispose of you. Walter, what that I see? Picking up a coral response. Watch out! Raven, one day, humanity and Coral will thrive together. You kept our potential safe. I know Walter feared a collapse. But I promise you, there's another way. Raven. We'll find it together. Uh huh. Ah, uh, I'm okay. Well. Raven, you took on my hopes, my selfish dream. Now I want to see the future that you choose. Whatever waits ahead, I'll support you. Okay. Strange voice that I still don't know the name of. Oh. 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 Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Authentication complete. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. This is All Mind, the mercenary support system. Raven, you've returned. Welcome back. All Mind anticipates great things from you. What? Is this just going to a new game plus? Looks like you passed the authentication. Oh that was God, quite the welcome home, right? I...
Really? Oh yeah, it's literally just starting over on New Game Plus, which I'm not going to play because good God, no thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this game. Holy crap. In my honest opinion, it is not, it's not a fantastic game. I think the combat is really fun, but it suffers from the fact that for some unknown reason, I, I made my, my suit pretty dang sturdy. But you get stunned so easily in this game. And there's so many attacks in this game that are tracking and unavoidable. And I don't think there is iframe in this game. At least I don't feel the iframe whenever I dodge something. It's sometimes when I dodge an attack, I feel like I should have dodged it. But I get hit anyways. And it feels wrong right um and there are so many attacks in this game that it's just not possible to dodge and you're working with a limited like really limited amount of resources but your enemies have unlimited amount of resources so you can't drag on the fight forever and just waste the enemy's ammo essentially but they can do that to you uh enemies constantly have uh, this yeah they they just preemptively dodge all of your attacks because they can read your inputs and it i don't know i i feel like this game isn't just it's just not that great um the yeah the combat is fun but man is it annoying and a lot of parts of this game i did not care for the story the whole everyone speaks really slow and explain things really monotonously uh, that's the same thing over and over and uh, not only that the story is actually quite simple like I didn't listen to most of it and I understood it right you do missions until you gain reputation you get enough reputation to move on to the next set of missions until you get enough reputation to move on to the next set of missions until midway through the game to where you find this weird sentient AI thingy that like talks to you through your mind. You find out she's part of the Rubicon Rubiconian race. And then she start giving you her own side mission that you can take and do to save her people. Or you can take the other side and just annihilate it, I'm guessing. And that's basically the story. There's nothing interesting about it, in my opinion, that you didn't get any big revelations during the story. Uh, not that I can tell, really. And yeah, it's very bland. And everyone voice act this game so monotonously that it just irritates me to no end to listen to them. Not only that, the UI for this game Especially like the after mission UI and the transition between dialogues takes between like two to three seconds to do each transition. And it's so aggravating to just sit here and just, ugh, good God. And there are several stages in this game that just, in my opinion, just is not well designed at all. Um, it doesn't really fit with the whole mech combat situation and not only that long range combat in this game is just impossible to do because the enemy again preemptively read your attacks and the longer range you are away from them they have a longer duration to dodge your attacks so it's always for long range combat you would have to fire a shot have them dodge and then fire another shot and the second shot will hit because they're at the end of their dodge so you're you will always miss a shot whenever you're fighting at long range and that feels terrible uh which is why i stuck with close range because the enemies have a much harder time of dodging close range attacks as you can tell um they get hit most of the time and yeah um and then there's certain fights in this game like the the uh, dual fights 
to where the enemy can just permanently stun lock you until they kill you, which is, in my opinion, bad game design. And uh, yeah, I, I honestly did not enjoy this game as much as I thought I would. And that's quite disappointing. So in the end, I still think this is a pretty decent above average game, but for a from software game, I really expected a lot more because, you know, I play all the Souls game in Elden Ring and I clock in two, three hundred hours in Elden Ring probably. And it, it was just a fantastic game. Like, every, like comparatively in this game, whenever I die to something or get hit, I feel like, you know, unlike the Souls franchise or Elden Ring, I, I feel like it wasn't really my fault like there was just no way to avoid that um and i don't even care if that's the like fact of things the fact that it feels like it's wrong it's bad right anyways uh if i have to give this game a score i would put it in between a six and a seven so six point five Maybe a little bit higher than that on the high end of 6, so maybe 6.75, you know. But it's definitely not a 7. I don't I don't feel like it, sh it deserves 7. Um, I think Mech Warrior is a better mech game than this game. It really, it really puts you into that mech feel. And this game just doesn't really do that for me. Anyways, that is my opinion on this game. Hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough of me just shotgunning things to death because that was fun for me and uh, yeah i'll see you guys uh, for something else next time have a wonderful day goodbye